Here's how I make this quick grungy half tone line effect here in Photoshop. This is my artboard size as a reference. And let's go and create a new layer, click on the plus. And here we're gonna go to the edit, click on the fill, make sure to choose 50% gray and click OK. Let's go to blend mode and here we're gonna change it to overlay. Right click on the layer, convert to smart object and also rename it as half tone. And next we're gonna go to the filter gallery but before that make sure that you have the background and foreground color on black and white. So the top is on black and the bottom is white. So from here we can go to the filter, filter gallery, open up the sketch right here and let's go and select the half tone pattern. Here we're gonna need to choose the pattern type and I'm gonna go with the line and make sure the contrast is on zero and the size somewhere around three, four. I'm gonna go with three, click OK. So it's gonna look something like this and from here we're gonna go to the adjustments and select the threshold. And here we're gonna need to adjust the threshold and adjust the lines however you like. You also can work a little bit more on the contrast. Let's go to the half tone layer, double click on it. And let's go to underlying layer, bring this handle in, press and hold alt, click on it. So it's gonna split in half and I'm gonna drag the half out of it. And here we can adjust the contrast and I'm gonna decrease it, click OK. So now it has a better contrast going on. And now at least we're gonna create that grungy paper text effect. So make sure that you're in a half tone layer. Let's go here, select solid color. Make sure you're on black, click OK. Right click on it, convert to smart object, rename it grunge. And let's go and change up the blend mode to lighten. From here, let's go to the filter. Let's go to noise and select add noise. And here I'm gonna go and increase the noise nice and high. I'm gonna go with like 165-ish, click OK. And then I'm gonna go back to the filter, go to blur and select Gaussian blur. Now check this out here, if you're gonna start increasing the radius, it is going to start removing the noise and changing it with these uh, grungy dots. And in my situation, I think I'm gonna go with like 0.6, click OK, press and hold alt, drag this grunge on the top to duplicate it rename this as noise. Let's go and remove the gradient blur, drag it in the bin. Let's go to add noise, double click, and I'm gonna decrease the amount. Also make sure to check monochrome, and this is how it's gonna look. And that's how you make this quick half tone lines here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.